Alright, what's up guys, Adam here. Welcome back to the Parma career mode. This is season 2. We're gonna have a lot to get through before our first match. Let's kick it off straight away. So we did have a pretty big transfer budget at the start of the season, but I did make a lot of transfers. There's gonna be a lot of free agents and a lot of loan deals going through this season because we don't really have the money that I want and for the players that I actually would like to pick up. So biggest transfers in is Grassi, 15 million from Napoli, and Sepe, 6.7 million from Napoli as well. We also brought in Di Marco from Inter Milan. He was here last season. We paid 2.1 million for him. Very young center back from Bologna, Corbo, 1 million for him. It's actually a pretty good deal. He's about 63 rated. We've brought in Zaniolo on a two-year loan from Roma. He's already 73 and is progressing very well. 20 years old. He's going to be vital for us. I'm going to show you all the players I signed from the free agents. We have Mbabu. Mazzitelli, Cosiera Valente, Keen. He looks like a very promising striker. Here's all the players that left the club. Desi, 3.8 million to Besiktas. Galano, 1.2 million to Cruzeiro. Internacional are receiving Cerovolo for 1.85 million. Di Gaudio has gone to Leeds United for 5.6 million. We've also sold Scavone. He was on loan last season. And that's all the offloading we did for the time being. Also, two players. One I signed at the end of the season. One was a pre-contract signing. John Luigi Buffon, 88 overall. A month has already gone by and he has not decreased in anything. It's really looking good for him despite being 41 years old. Alessandro Bastoni, I think we paid about 3 million for him. He's an exciting prospect, already gone up by one. I'm not training him anymore. He's going to probably be the core of the defense this season. Objectives the board want us to reach is the Europa League. Reach the knockout stage. That's pretty big being our first Europa League in quite a while. Within two seasons in the Serie A, finish in a Europa League spot. So we have already done that. And the Serie A, they want us to finish mid-table. Three players that I forgot to mention. We already agreed on a loan. We're just waiting for the players to accept. It's Claudio Gomes from Manchester City, a defensive midfielder. Fermoso Serpa is a central attacking midfielder. Midfielder, central midfielder Brazilian from Milan looks very very good and Pietro Pellegri it's a loan deal I know he's injury prone already at 18 years of age that sucks for a player like him but I think he can actually do wonders for us if we do end up getting these three players now that everything's done let's kick off the second season we're gonna be taking on Sampdoria in the first match of the season so just like the first season everything's on ultimate we're gonna be sticking with this 4-3-3 for the season first game I'm gonna be showing you the lineup the rest of the games we're just gonna get into them i want to do at least a season per episode i hope you guys are enjoying this new format the way i do it buffon and goal romano conti bastoni de marco tonali kuchka grassi biabiani gervinho and sacco as you can see biabiani and gervinho are actually starting to decrease quite a bit but we're probably gonna look for a replacement in a few months let's kick this match off looking to get a big victory here to start off the season we actually really overachieved in the first season finishing in sixth place in a very very tough Serie A season can we have a repeat performance of last season I'm looking to actually do wonders this season and maybe finish in a very good place in the Europa League good ball to Romano Biabian is in some space he's gonna cut inside can we send in a cross? That's a ball. Yurai Kuchka scores the first goal. Yurai Kuchka, player who is going to start to decrease, gets the first goal. 1-0 up. Romano. Grassi. It's a good ball. Gervinho. I spot Sacco all the way on the other end. That's a beautiful ball. Sacco finishes 2-0 up. First goal for him this season. Hopefully, uh, he can actually do what I bought him for scored four goals last season in about 14 games that's his first on the first match day of the season Sandro Tonali Kuchka Grassi it's a good ball Sacco in the box can he get another one that's our third of the match second goal for Sacco 3-0 up before 45 minutes playing fantastic football right now here's Sacco Sacco's throwing goal can we get four Sacco it's 4-0 in the first half what a way to start the new season Parma means business. Sacco with his third goal of the match. Hat-trick for him on match day one. 4-0. Antonio. Oh, Buffon just rooted to the spot. Sampdoria get one back, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Tonali. Tonali was going to go for a shot. Tonali 
Great play by Tonali. That's going to be a penalty. Tonali draws the penalty. Chance to make it 5-1. Best penalty taker is Sacco. So he's going to be the one to step up and take it. We're going to try and smash it. Top left corner. Sacco, fourth goal of the game. It's 5-1. Da Cruz just cleared away for our first victory of the season. 5-1 victory. Absolutely smashed it. Three points. And that's fantastic. Fermoso Serpa, Gomez, and Pietro Pellegri have all joined up with the squad. They're loaned in. Benevento next. A few changes to the lineup. Pellegri playing up front. Sacco on the right wing. We've got Zaniolo in the team. Buffon still in goal. Backline unchanged. Can we walk out of here with a victory? Sacco. Great strength by Sacco. There's Gervinho. Gervinho scoring great strength by Sacco on that right wing. Plays in Gervinho. 1-0 up. 12 minutes in. Oh, that's a great ball. Gigi Buffon can't keep that one out of the back of the net. And Benevento going to be scoring 27 minute. Buffon gets a touch to it, but unfortunately ends up in the back of the net. Oh, that's a great strike. Dale going to be putting that one into the back of the net. After we took the lead, Benevento scored two quick goals. Nothing any goalkeeper could do about that one. Two one down. That's not a good ball by Conti. Armanteros. Just giving the ball away like it's absolutely nothing. That's in the back of the net. 3-1 down to Benevento. This is not what I wanted from this match. Good ball, Sacco. Sacco. I can see Gervinho making a run at the other end. That's Gervinho. Another goal for him. That's headed into the back of the net. Gervinho. That's unfortunate. That's a 3-2 loss. Can I say it's deserved? Maybe didn't really defend well. First loss of the season. Atalanta's the next opponent. Ilicic, four goals in the last three matches. Gervinho, two goals in the previous match. That's why Gervinho is going to continue to play Sacco. Back in his striker spot. Biabiani on the wing. Pretty much the same midfield, same defense. Great play. Kushka. Let's play it over to Biabiani. Here's Sacco. Sacco in the box. Sacco finishes. Another goal for Sacco. His fifth goal of the season in only three matches. Very bright start to the season for him. That's just unfortunate. That is just unfortunate. Ilicic gets his own rebound. Slots that one into the back of the net. Nothing anybody could do about that one. They draw the game level in the 24th minute. No, Tonali. Gives away the ball far too easily. That's in. Oh, great save. Gigi Buffon. That's going to be the end of the match. A 1-1 drop. Neither team took their chances. Buffon with some fantastic saves. It's split by one point each. San Siro's the venue for the next match. Taking on Milan. And I can see they made some pretty big acquisitions. They have company in defense. Player we're going to have to watch is probably going to be Piontek. If he's actually playing our player to watch is Sacco. Just has been playing fantastic. There's Piontek. Completely destroyed me last year when I played against him. There's Rod Rodriguez. That's a ball. Mauri is on side. That's Piontek in the box. Buffon, what a save. No, that's no, that's not what I want to do. Buffon makes the save. Andre Silva scores. Poor defensive display by us. He's back from loan. He scores 1-0 down. To the middle to Zaniolo. Zaniolo is going to play Biabiani. Biabiani is going to take that one. That's a great save by Gigio. Opportunity for us. Just blocked. That's some terrible defending. Pellegrini is going to take it. Pellegrini. Just wide. That's how this match is going to end. Milan taking a 1-0 victory here at the San Siro. Goal scored by Silva. Pellegri had an opportunity. Just could not take it. No points. So here's how our Europa League group looks. We have Herta Berlin, Panathinaikos, and Rapid Vine. We're taking on Panathinaikos in the first match of the Europa League. It's at home. Don't really have an objective for the Europa League. The main thing is, is that we're here after a season that maybe we shouldn't even have been in the Europa League. So we're going to take it how it is if we advance to the knockout stages is great if not i won't be too bothered about that munier in the wing it's a cross in Di Marco, i went for a clearance and he decided to slide instead seppe gonna have an opportunity to come up big here it's gonna be macheda i think he's going bottom left i think he's going bottom left great save by seppe keeping it level out with nil nil oh that's a great header macheda hits that one off the post Romano tries to get there, but Munye is there to tap that one in at the back post. Down 1-0 in the 43rd minute. Pietro Pellegri is going to get taken down. Referee, give that man a red card. Big decision. That's a red card for the rest of the match. Gervinho plays that one well. Pellegri. That's a ball to Grassi. Grassi. That's going to be a shot. That's going to be into the back of the net. Zaniolo scores. Drawn level at 1-1. Fantastic goal. Play that forward to Grassi. Grassi. Sends that ball to Gervinho. That's a great ball. Pellegrini is in the box. Pellegrini hits that one. That's in off the goalkeeper. Great way to rally from the boys. 2-1. 
looking for an option to maybe get something going. Pellegri is going to chase that one. Referee, is that going to be a penalty? Yes, it will be. Pellegri getting fouled. We have an opportunity on a penalty that they missed. Grassi, an opportunity to make a 3-1. A lot of power behind that one. It's saved. Both penalties saved on each end of the pitch. We've got a corner here. Gervinho's going to whip that one in. Can we hit that one in? That's a great goal. In off the bar, it's Cisse, the defender that we scouted from the Ivory Coast. Beautiful header, 3-1. That's a good ball in Sepe. Can he make a save? Macheda scoring. 3-2, lead is cut to 1. Three points, great rally from the boys. After being down 1-0, we come back and win this game 3-2. Sepe, monster penalty save. And a great victory to start off our Europa League campaign. Venezia is going to be our first match simulated of the season. Just coming up from Serie B, we should be walking out of here with a victory. Sepe back in goal. And Babu playing for his first match. Pinto as well. Zaniolo back in the midfield. Sacco, Gervinho and Biabiani up top. Gervinho scoring in the 12th minute. Let's simulate the end of the match. It's going to be a 2-1 victory. Zaniola with another goal. Big three points. Skyri should be a pretty straightforward game for us. We should be walking out of here with the three points. Spots Gervinho. It's a great ball, Gervinho. He's losing speed a little bit. He's going to go down. Referee doesn't seem to want to actually give a card on that one. Gervinho, it's going to be a penalty. Sacco, looks like he's the guy stepping up for it. Can he score his sixth goal of the season? Sacco! Great ball, 1-0 up, finally, we've really been playing well, we finally get rewarded with a goal. It's a good ball, he's beyond the onside, he is. Worked so hard for the goal and then they just score something like that, poor defending, Blandi scoring, 1-1. Tonali all the way to the other side to Romano, looking for something, Romano is in the box, he's allowed to just run free, Romano is going to be scoring, 92nd minute, Gabriele Romano, that's going to be the victory, he slots that one into the back of the net, all three points here after we scored a goal through Sacco, they hit us back, we walk out of here with a victory. Europa League match day two taking on Berlin, their first match was a draw. We actually picked up a very good 3-2 victory. Can we build off that performance? Allegri. Zaniolo's gonna touch that one down. That's a good ball to Gomes. Gomes is in the box. He scores. The man on loan for Manchester City makes it 1-0. Grassi gonna send Pietro Pellegri in the box. Pellegri could have made it 2-0. Oh, Buffon. Buffon doesn't do well on that one. Didn't come out and grab it. I actually wanted to play Seppe in this match. I wanted him to play the Europa League group stages, but forgot to put him in. Buffon on that one probably could have done better. Just turns, takes the shot. Buffon, good save. That's a good touch by the young striker playing out on the wing. Here's Serpa. Serpa to Gomes. Gomes, what a strike. That one off the bar. And that's going to be a 1-1 draw. We had opportunities. We're only going to be taking one point from this match here in Germany. Lazio, next opponent, Berishop, player to watch, three goals in the last three matches. Lazio actually under us in the table. I think we're in seventh, they're in ninth place, so this should be a very good matchup. Great ball to Biabiani. That is a lovely ball roll. He keeps hold of that one. I see Grassi making a run, and Grassi's gonna hit that one. Great goal. Fantastic start. Grassi scores. Four minutes in. 1-0 up. Tonali on him. Very nicely done. Shoulder to shoulder from Tonali. No, what are you doing? That's not at all what I did. I clearly cleared it. Milko Savic pounces on a mistake. 1-1. One, one. That's 2-1. The corner for Lazio comes back out. They slot that one in. After being up 1-0, Lazio just so frustrating this game. That's a strike. Sergei Milko Savic, Lazio. Up 3-1. We've been troubling them on the other side. Nothing wants to go in. They come back. It's 3-1 right before halftime. Going to use that speed. Going to cut inside. Here's Biabiani trying to take it outside. Okay, that's going to come back out to Sacco. Sacco's going to finish that one. A bit of luck on his part. Seventh goal of the season. Lead is cut to one. Full time. Absolutely gutted about that one because we did not play poorly. We just... Gave them some opportunities, a mistake at the back. Lazio just a lot more clinical. That's an unfortunate loss. Sassuolo up in sixth place still. Very early days here in the season. We're away from home in this match. It's going to be a very tough one. They do have Prince Boateng back from loan from Barcelona, as well as Babacar and Berardi. Watch the shot from Berardi. Berardi, one opportunity, one goal. Parma corner. We've got some success in corners this season. That's whipped in. Grassi's there. Sacco, can he touch it? He does. Scores his eighth goal this season. Drawn level at 1-1. Let's get this ball away. Bastoni doesn't get it clear enough. 
Now Prince Boateng, just one opportunity once again. Sassuolo with two shots and two goals, absolutely nothing that can be done. Referee blows the whistle, Sassuolo basically two shots on target, two goals. We worked so hard for our goal and weren't rewarded with a second one. I'm not sure that two losses in a row is the worst thing for our season. Match day three, sitting in first place, we're taking on Rapid Vine. They also do have four points, uh, I guess a victory and a draw. Who's going to be walking out of here in first place after three matches should be a fantastic game oh he's just open allowed to run free here's Alar gonna take a shot Seppe good save that's a shot Seppe makes the initial save that one was actually gonna be offside if he put it into the back of the net that's a great cross by Gervinho Biabiani now Pellegri very nicely done by Pietro Pellegri. He's going to hit that one. Pellegri just drags it wide. That's going to be the end of the match. A nil-nil drop. It's not a loss. It's not a victory. But we really did play well. Just nothing wanted to go in. One point from this match. Bologna down in 17th place. We're taking them on here at the Ennio Tardini. We're up in 13th with 10 points. Only a two-point gap between us. So hopefully we can actually walk out of here with the victory. A few changes, but still a very good lineup for us. Maybe at the back we're a little bit shaky similarly to the end of the match that's so gonna be a 1-1 draw i was hoping for a victory but a draw is always better than a loss taking on inter here at the san siro last season we got absolutely demolished by inter milan a 6-1 deficit hoping for a reverse performance this time out that's a great ball gervinho just snuck behind the defense gervinho is gonna try to oh gervinho Gervinho, come on, man. Gotta do better with your finishing. That's a great ball, Biabiani. That speed is absolutely lethal. He's gonna push it inside. He's got Tonali coming on the other edge. That's a save by Andanovic. Tonali is gonna finish that one. Big parry by Andanovic. And we take the lead in the 28th minute. Biabiani with the strike. Sandro Tonali to finish that one. 1-0 up. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you? Oh, Buffon, what a save. What a save by Gigi Buffon. We just gave the ball away for some reason. I was actually going to start breaking everything if that went in. Buffon, what a monster save, keeping it at 1 0. That is definitely going to be the end of the match. A 1 0 victory here against Inter. A very massive three points for us. Buffon with some late game heroics, keeping the game at 1 0. We walk out of here with all three points. Tables looking very tight here in the Europa League. Us, Rapid Vine, and Hertha Berlin all on five points and then Panathinaikos with no points after three matches each get on that don't make them shoot that's a strike takes a deflection absolutely nothing that can be done Seppe just watches it go past him we've been attacking attacking the attacking they've been defending so well they put like 45 players in behind the ball absolutely nothing can be done one nil down this is going to conclude such a frustrating match I don't know if you could hear me in my voice, but like nothing, absolutely nothing could have been done. And Vine is going to be walking out of here with a victory. First loss for us in the Europa League. Next match, taking on Genoa at the Ennio Tardini. This should go a lot better than the last match we simulated. Uh, Genoa in their last three matches have a victory and two draws. So I guess they're getting a little bit better. Pretty much our best lineup. We should be walking out of here with a victory. Simulate to the end of the match. And that is going to be three points. Sacco with a goal. Grassi with a goal. Two one victory. Spal is our next opponent at the end of November. We're currently sitting in 8th place with 17 points. We actually had quite some success last season in simulating away matches even though sometimes you do simulate away matches. Even though you're the better side you actually do end up losing. So we're going with pretty much our best lineup and Lookman scoring. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes you shouldn't be losing these games but you do. Di Marco with a yellow card heading into the second half. Sacco scoring. That's I think either his 9th or 10th goal of the season. Zaniolo coming on to start the second half. Lazzari coming on for Spal. Can somebody put the ball in the back of the net on our side? Gomes coming in for Tonali. Gervinho scoring in the 87th minute. That really does feel good. Coming and winning it from behind. Sacco and Gervinho scoring three points. Just showing you the group table here. As you can see, we're sitting with five points. We're taking on Panathinaikos right now. Berlin and Rapid Vine on eight points each. We need a victory here. 100%. Gonna pick that one back up. Up. has got Pellegrini in the box if he can get to that one he does but it was offside 
First opportunity for us, they defend so well Panathinaikos. That's unfortunately going to be a nil-nil draw. Panathinaikos were probably more annoying than Rapid Vine, Napoli, the Sampdoria all mixed together in one team. That's going to only be one point here. We just have to hope that one of the teams actually won the other fixture and then try to advance into the knockout stages through the final match day. Hellas Verona down in 20th place. No victories. This match is going to be simulated first game of the second. We're in sixth place. We should be walking out of here with the victory. No questions asked. Pretty much best lineup. Few changes here and there. Simulate to the end. 3-1 victory. Biabiani, Gervinho, two goals. Three points. 3-1 victory. Napoli in this match. They're actually down in eighth place while we're up in fifth. So realistically, we should be walking out of here with the victory. Pretty much been the, the story of the match. Napoli completely dominating. That was our first opportunity. Romano is going to play that one into Biabiani. Very nicely done by Biabiani. Finds Sacco just inside. Heavy touch. Sacco hits that one to save by Kuhn. Corner, the end swinger, Di Marco. Looking for somebody's head in the box. That's Conti. What a header by our youth brother, Conti. Di Marco swings it in 1 0 up. Finally, Napoli completely dominated us all match. Probably an undeserved goal, but we're taking it. That is how the match is going to end. 1-0 victory. Like I said on the goal, probably undeserved, but it's still three points. We're going to take it 100% of the time. So here's the situation on match day six. If we win and Rapid Vine win, then we're not into the knockout stages. If we beat Hertha Berlin and Rapid Vine draws with Panathinaikos, then it's all going to be up to goal differential. So we'll just have to wait and see who goes through. And if we win and Rapid Vine end up losing against Panathinaikos then we're into the knockout stages 100% so let's get into this match against Hertha Berlin doesn't matter what the other matchup does to even be here in the Europa League in just our second season as manager I call that a win in my book but we're looking for the victory we're looking to progress into the knockout stages Kushka starting off well Sako gets by the defender Sako hits the one Sako starting off very brightly that's a great ball in Pizarro Sepe great save okay that's actually pretty good for us right now Panathinaikos is winning 1-0 over Rapid Vine heading into the second half Biabiani Biabiani has got Sako Sako is just offside just offside here's Kuchka very nicely done by Kuchka. Baiting the defender out. There's Kuchka. That's off the post. Come on, man. Oh, no. He's through. Seppe the save once again. Thank you, Seppe. Great save. Half an hour left in this match. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Work so hard. Work so hard. They just score a goal out of nowhere. 1 0. 17 minutes left in the match. Let's take it inside. Gervinho now finds Biabiani. Biabiani, give it back to Gervinho. Gervinho on the box. He finishes. Four minutes left in this match. Gervinho, get that ball. 1 1. That is going to be the end of the match. And we're out of the Europa League. What do you want to do about that? We dominated and dominated and dominated. They score a goal out of nothing. Worked so hard for a goal. Took us till the 86th minute. And just like that, we're out of Europe. Rapid Vine actually lost their game 2 0 against Panathinaikos. They picked up their first victory. We would have been through if we would have just walked out of there with a the victory. Kevo Verona next, away from home. Should be walking out of here with a victory, but you never know. Three victories in their last three matches, all. 1-0 victories for Kievo. We're going to simulate. That's going to be a 2-1 victory. Didn't actually expect that. I was maybe expecting a loss because away games sometimes do that. Pellegrini with a goal. Grassi with a goal. Three points. Fiorentina up next and this is the final match of December. They're currently down in 10th place and we're up in second. So this game is going to be simulated heading into the January transfer window where I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to be doing. But first we have this game in our way. A loss of victory and a draw in the last three matches. Chettino scoring in the second minute. Grassi scoring in the 14th minute. Similarly to the end of the match, Sacco scoring. And Grassi scoring. Gomes picked up a little bit of an injury. That's a 2-1 victory. Fiorentina actually did miss a penalty. So it's the 1st of January 2020. And I was planning on doing a season per episode. But I actually think half a season per episode is going to be a lot better for you guys. So 
at the half season mark in the season, we currently sit in second place. I'm going to be showing you guys a squad report, how the players are progressing. The player that has increased the most is Simone Kane. He's a 69 overall, has gone up plus seven. Cisse and Corbo have both gone up by five. Mazzitelli has gone up by plus four. Pellegri and Da Cruz have gone up by plus three each. Romano, Mbabu, Conti, Bastoni, Tonali, Grassi, Diakite, Chapacase, Zagnolo, Fermoso, Serpa have all gone up by two. Sepe, Di Marco, Gomes, who's injured for five weeks, Sacco have all gone up by plus one. Now, Gianluigi Buffon, surprisingly, has not decreased by anything despite being 41 years old. Players who started to decrease, obviously, it's the older players, Kuchka, Biabiani, and Gervinho. Maybe if we get a big offer for one of these three players, we can actually sell them on because we're really not doing well financially. Player with the most goals in all competitions, it's Sacco, 11 goals from 15 games in the Serie A. Then we have Gervinho with seven, Grassi with five, Zaniolo and Pellegri with two each. Romano, Cisse, Conti, Tonali, Gomes, Kuchka, Biabiani all have one each. Player with the most assists is Jonathan Biabiani, five assists to his name, Sacco, four, Gervinho, four, Grassi, three, Cisse, Conti, Bastoni, Di Marco, Tonali, Gomez, Zaniolo all have have one each. Both of our goalkeepers, Buffon and Sepe, who is apparently feeling a little bit unhappy, have two clean sheets each. Sepe is going to start to get a lot more game time. And we've locked up Gianluigi Buffon to a new one-year contract so he doesn't end up leaving this transfer window. I would like to win this guy a Champions League. So here's how our transfer budget is looking. 409k and 7k on wages. So if we want to make any acquisitions in the January transfer window, we're definitely going to have to sell some players. I'm looking for maybe some loan deals once again maybe Riccardi maybe Orsolini I actually tried to approach Juve to loan him but they didn't want to let him go so that definitely isn't going to be the case but you guys need to let me know what do you think I should do who do you think are the players that I should offload we do have another half season in the next episode I wanted to get you this video out as quick as possible Parma currently sitting in second place thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys have enjoyed and I will see you next time